It's been two weeks since the devastating Ohio train derailment where tankers full of chemicals overturned. It took place not too far from the Ohio River. Now many Kentuckians wonder if they need to worry about drinking water becoming contaminated or about risk to fish and wildlife. Daniel Miskell spoke with local environmental experts who have some answers. Vinyl chloride, butyl acrylate. These are some of the toxic chemicals that now flow in the Ohio River, threatening the drinking water. The Ohio River is connected to the Kentucky River. So Kentuckians are asking, is drinking water still safe? It was heavily in the water in the small streams, and now it's, it's dispersing into a much wider Ohio River, and the concentration is getting lower as it goes um, now. Now it will come down towards Cincinnati and uh, Louisville area. So then it comes down to water treatment testing in Kentucky. The concentrations are becoming low enough to um, not pose a significant health concern. Kentucky American Water released confirmation saying it does not use water from the Ohio River for water supply, only the Kentucky River which flows north into the Ohio River, not the other way around. Other agencies are involved in water treatment testing. Kentucky's Energy and Environment Cabinet says it's in daily contact with the Ohio River Valley Water Sanitation Commission, monitoring the spill response. It just collected water samples on Valentine's Day and says, daily results show the butyl acrylate spill already is at concentrations well below national health standards and is continuing to dissipate. And is there risk to the fish and wildlife? The Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife says, based on recent testing, no acute impacts are expected in the Kentucky portion of the Ohio River. The last 15 entries done days ago show chemical levels less than one parts per billion. In Lexington, Danielle Miskell, Fox 56 News.